Blanket of snow is also causing headaches on Macomb County roads as well. Officials say it could have been worse. Seven Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox has been out in the snow all morning long and has an update on how it looks now. Things are looking relatively well when you consider the fact that, depending on where you live, you may have gotten anywhere from 6 to 16 inches of snow. Obviously, that's going to have a major impact on the morning commute, and a lot of folks, they were happy just to get out of the driveway. You know it's going to be one of those days when your late-night burger run is put on hold because you all but need a snowmobile just to get to the drive through we tried to give Chris Nuwalzi a hand after watching him spin his wheels for a while. It took him 10 minutes, but he did manage to get out on his own. No thanks to the roads. They're crap. <laughs> They're not good at all. So I suggest everybody just stay inside the house. Of course, staying at home would require taking a day off, and that's a luxury not all of us have. But teachers like Lisa Bunce, they do. This is it's like an extra special treat for them to have a couple of more days off of school. A treat for the kids, right. This is Mrs. Bunce is headed to the gym. But in her defense, she's already put in a good day's work. I had to shovel like all the way in the street to get my car out. And you may have had to do the same, unless you own a snowplow or a snowplow business. Well, I guys do my driveway, so hopefully it's clear already. <laughs> Don Dinkins and his crew have been working around the clock, which is a good thing when you operate a snowplow, right? Days like today, it's it's not a great thing. The, the important thing is to keep it safe for everybody, and hopefully a lot of people are listening to stay off the roads because that makes it easier for us. The good news for all of us is that the snow is no longer falling. The bad news? The temperature's descent has just begun. In Warren, Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.